in this video we will discuss regarding the nutrition of protozoa types of nutrition first one is autotrophic nutrition then holo holophytic nutrition holozoic nutrition and saprozoic nutrition let us come to the autotrophic nutrition in which the organism able to live entirely on inorganic compounds it synthesizes protein carbohydrates lipids from the inorganic precursors which is occurring phytoflagellates now let us come to the holophytic nutrition carbohydrates are synthesized by means of chlorophyll and this is seen in the phytoplagellates as the case of autotrophic nutrition now let us come to the holozoic nutrition in which particulate food material that is preformed food material is included in the host tissue are ingested through temporary or permanent mouth temporary mouth is formed by the amoeba when they engulf food by the pseudopodia and the ferment mouth is the cytosome which is seen in the ciliates and the cytosome is the simple which leads to cytopharynx cytosome is lined by the cilia which aids in the ingestion of the food and the undigested material are extruded out through a temporary opening or permanent opening called as cytophage which is the anus of the organism and holozoic nutrition is again classified as pinocytic or cell drinking phagocytosis or cytosomal feeding let us discuss about cell drinking that is pinocytosis in which ingestion of liquid food material will be there many protozoa ingest nutritious material in solution by a process known as phagocytosis this is by pinching off vacuoles of fluid through a temporary opening in the wall and in case of phagocytosis in which engulfment of the solid particles will be there and in case of cytosomal feeding in some protozoa microscopic microphores and these are also called as microphile or cytosome by using this they will feed on the material and uh, this is seen in the imeria and plasmodium and the next type of the nutrition is sporozoic nutrition nutrition being absorbed through the body wall and this is by a simple osmosis now let us come to the excretion in the protozoans excretion is through the body surface or wall by diffusion and it may be by cytophage that is the anus of the organism in ciliates these are seen in the opposite poles where in cytosome is present and in case of contractile vacuoles which is simple are associated with the feeders canals or vacuoles they are more important as osmoregulating organelles and that are found in the freshwater protozoans there are majorly three mode of excretion in the protozoans are seen the first is through body surface and through cytophage and through contractile vacuoles the next come to nervous system in the protozoans neuromotor system which is seen by the silver impregnation study and nervous system contain photoreceptors or photosensitive pigment spots or which is also known as melanosoma and apart from photoreceptor they contain sensory vacuoles and the organelles such as collar stellus suckers and polar filaments 
which is in case of sporozoa these aids in the nerve functions of the protozoans in case of respiration is either by aerobic or by anaerobic aerobic in case of plasmodium leishmania and streptanosoma and anaerobic in case of entamoeba and trichomonas species in the next video we will discuss regarding the reproduction in the protozoa thank you